Good evening. Today's lesson begins with the garbage man. I don't know about you, but I don't think about the garbage man or the garbage woman very often. I think about my garbage once a week. And I would venture to say that we as a community, as a society, don't give much thought to the man and the woman who gather our trash, who are probably overlooked and I guess underpaid. But I know that I would be lost without the person to gather my garbage, and they are so very needed. This leads us to the animal for today, but first, let me give you a warning. This video will contain some discussion about guts, so if you are uh, weak in the stomach, you might want to move on. I picked the vulture for today's animal. We see these guys in the air all the time. We know that they go after the animals that have already died and are laying on the ground. We sort of consider them yucky and icky, overlooked, nothing fancy about them, except I think we're wrong. Um, we think about them being ugly and they're eating yucky stuff that's filled with bacteria, what we would call a dangerous meal. They're ripping open dead animals with their hard, tough beak, and they are eating stuff that if they didn't eat it, would spread disease across our communities. Um, these are the ones that we see the most often, the ones that we know. But today, I want to introduce you, if you don't know, to the king vulture. The king vulture is mixed in here in this photo with some regular vultures and the king vulture is the one that's very colorful. You see the orange and the red. Um, if you look carefully, you can see some other colors. Um, these vultures live about 30 years. They're one of the biggest in the vulture kingdom and they're monogamous. They mate for life. Um, I think we think about that with nice squishy, cute animals, but we don't think about it in this sort of ugly category. And these vultures have one offspring, one baby that the male and female take care of together and raise together. Um, the fascinating thing to me about the king vulture besides the beautiful colors is that they have this special bacteria in their gut. And scientists have studied the guts of the king vulture, as well as alligators. They have a similar sort of special gut bacteria. Some people say it's like um, a probiotic for the vulture, you know, kind of what we take as humans for, for our guts. And of course they eat things way worse than anything we might consume. Um, but besides their color, we um, know that they can digest these things and they don't die. Anything else in the kingdom would eat that and would not make it. And so God has given us this special trash man in the animal kingdom to discard all the things that would make us sick on this planet otherwise. I also love um, the king vulture you can see has this black feathery collar. It's really fluffy. And then the neck is bare. And there's a good reason for that. Um, as they are burying their head in the guts of some poor dead carcass, um, they are neck deep in that body and their neck becomes covered with the bacteria and germs of that carcass. I did read that they fly often to a river and they bathe as soon as they're done eating. But that fluffy collar doesn't get, you know, bacteria in it because the neck is bare and they clean that neck very carefully. So isn't that amazing? I mean, the tiny detail that makes that vulture pretty probably to its mate is what keeps it safe and what keeps a great earth for us. In Psalm 50, uh, it says that I know all the birds of the mountains. This is God himself and that he cares for all of these, even this somewhat ugly king vulture and he's created it for a purpose. By the way, you see that little orange thing on the beak of the nose. It has the same uh, biological name as the tooth, the temporary tooth that's in the sea turtle. But on this king vulture, that orange thing, scientists have not yet figured out what exactly it's for. 
I know that God created it for a purpose. It's just that we as humans haven't figured it out yet. So he planned for us to have trash and garbage and he planned for the animal kingdom to die and to be recycled. And he especially made vultures and the king vulture, my favorite, um, as a plan to be our trash man in the animal kingdom. No doubt about it. Have a great week.